Hello everyone. Thank you for stopping by. This is Sandy from Color Creatively. And I have nine books here that I've worked on this month, uh, September 2021. And uh, I did a video on two books that I had completed, so you might want to check those out. But I will show you the other pictures that I colored also, September 2021. Okay, let me start with one or two at a time and go through the whole stack. Let me move this. Okay. Um, my first books, there's three of them here from the artist C.L. Aldridge. I'm sorry. C.L. Aldridge Art. I'll list them below. And I had a great time working in them. So let me show you one at a time. This is uh, her travel book, and uh, it's Flowers, Birds, Butterflies, and More. And this is Amazon Paper. And for those of you that um, tell me you can't color very well on it or you can't watercolor on it, I'm going to show you that I've watercolored on it this month. Okay, and I will have a video coming up. Uh, a technique video doing just that very thing. Okay, here we go. I did this one, and I even used uh, metallic paint on the border. Let me get in closer. That's my problem here. This is small, and I want you to see the drawing. Beautiful drawing, and uh, I hope I did it justice with the color. But that border is metallic with a turquoise pencil in the middle, and the metallic is a violet color to match these flowers. And then I put on some um, acrylic paint on the blue flowers on the others as a highlight because the center of them just didn't look that good when I colored it. Okay, and uh, then I detailed with pencil. Then I did this picture, and this is the one we're going to work on, uh, on my other, my upcoming video. And for the glitter, I used my famous Folk Art Extreme Glitter Paint, the Hologram. Hologram is the only one that will go over any color of pencil or any other color of any other medium. So that's just an FYI. And I love this stuff, and it paints on. It's acrylic. It's It doesn't have huge chunks of glitter, but it gives it a soft, fine glitter look. You don't see the fine glitter in the camera, but I do in person. And I, that's my favorite one. And then I did this picture in the travel book. This is strictly pencils, except for the border. And I used my pit pens. Uh, water-based, and um, then I went over it with the extreme glitter paint. So any supplies I use, I will list them below. Okay, let's look at the uh, book from her that I have been haven't worked in in a while, but when I did, I did quite a few of these mandalas. There's 48 designs here, and um, I'm hoping to complete this book at some point. Okay, this one is watercolor, and um, I used my Daniel Smith and White Knight. You can use any watercolor you want. You see the sparkle there in the middle? It That is done with the, um, whoops, let me get it out here. This is a clear glitter jelly roll by Sakura Jelly Roll, and it's clear, so you can go over any color with this and make it glittery. And then I detailed with pencils, my Deli pencils. I will list them below. They are a Chinese knockoff of Faber-Castell Polychromos, and they are really work and look the same. Okay. And then I did this one, and we have the Extreme Glitter paint in here a little bit, too. And I used stencils on both of these, um, and I used um, Sparkle Pop here on this one, so they sparkle. 
And this I did sparkle pop on the corners and pencil and the corner uh, and the two sides. Okay, let's move on to the next book by C. L. Aldridge Art. And this one is Flower Inspirations. Now it's a bigger book, so I'm going to have to back up a little bit here so that you can see it. And I did this one with watercolor. Yes, the pages in Amazon paper will get crinkly, and it might look like that on the back, but that's perfectly fine. This is single-sided, and uh, if you control your water, you do not have the peeling paper or holes in it. it and as this stays in my portfolio in a page protector, um, the next time I look at it, it'll be flat. Okay, um, I use some uh, color shift acrylic paint, and you can see here that it shifts colors around the black dots here. I use the extreme glitter hologram around here. I use Daniel Smith and White Knight watercolor on this. I did my border with the extreme glitter paint and I detailed with pencil Star Joy. Okay, same with this one, same supplies. Only I used a green flash. Uh, this, it, it shifts color. It's just great by folk art. In here, uh, around two circles. Okay, that, those are the two I did in this book. And then I worked in Circle of Life book and I did two pictures in here let me I have them marked I love this book and I need to work more in it okay I did this all in watercolor and I detailed it with um, Star Joy pencils and again my Daniel Smith and White Knight and um, glittered the bird because it's a hummingbird and some of their bodies iridescent they're all different colors and I used of course my extreme glitter paint for that and then I did this one here in watercolor and these pages are thicker so they don't in fact it's uh, absolutely not buckled at all now after it's set here a while. And my black dots, uh, the uh, artist had black dots and I wanted to emphasize them. So I used my black color shift paint by Folk Art. Um, it, it, and you can't see the color shift because the dots are so small. But I can see them in person. And I detailed with pencil. Again, my watercolor and pencil. Okay, let's keep moving. Now I worked again in this book, Desert Blooms by Ruth Stouffer. It's a creative haven book. And let me show you the two that I did. Okay. I did these two pictures with the Daniel Smith watercolor. Oh my gosh, look how how vivid the the watercolor is. I just cannot stress about these Daniel Smith watercolors. They are awesome and um, they have granulation in them and it just adds to your picture. I did a soft pastel sky. Everything else is watercolor, and I detailed it with Star Joy. And I put uh, washi tape on the border because I had messed up and got some paint on the border, and it looked awful, so I went ahead and used my washi tape as a border. And then I did this one. This is the, um, what do they call it, the Living... The living stone cactus. The part, the part of the cactus looks like stones. And then let me show you what I did. And this is Daniel Smith watercolor also. 
with Star Joy pencil and my soft pastel background. Um, and last month I did these. I just want to show you the vividness of this paint. And this is the Living Stones cactuses. They are actually greenish. And the stone cactus, stone plant, I think they call them, is gray. So in real life, those are the colors and the flowers would be the colors that you would see in the desert. Look at this opera pink. Um, oh, these colors by Daniel Smith. And this is, I forgot the name of the color, but it's just, there's several colors here. They're, they're beyond anything I've ever used, and uh, just using the inexpensive, budget-friendly Star Joy on top still gives you this look. Okay, I just wanted to show that to you. Um, that makes me want to color more of these pictures because they're coming out looking very nice. I had a color along in the month of September, and uh, I worked in Country Autumn, Jade, Jade Summers' new book. And the color along, I did this picture. And several people have commented on their videos that they've done, followed with me and did their pictures too. So that was great. Um, and this is all pencil, I believe, or was it watercolor? Let me, did I write it down? Uh, let me see what I wrote down. Mm, Prisma colors and soft pastels, so that's probably what I used. I don't remember, and I didn't write it all down thoroughly. But this is an adorable book, and I want to work more in it. And there's one for summer that I plan on working in this coming month. Okay. Then I worked in this book. This is uh, Carolina Kubakowska on the other side of the dream. And I did two in here. This one is a double page spread. And I used my Karen Dosh Neo 2s for the background. I used a metallic paint for the circles in the background. And I used water, no, this is all Karen Dosh Neo 2s and then uh, some black glitter here on the mushrooms. Let me see if I can back out that you can get a better look. It's a double page spread. That, I mean, it's uh, it goes this way, so it doesn't fit on camera, but this way you can see it. And I did the um, shadings here with three different colors in the background and the um, metallic paint for the circles just to add something to the background and this is an Indian red color from Neo 2's and I love it and the leaves all of this is Neo 2 okay I even detailed with Neo 2 except the paints the uh, sparkly uh, black and the sparkly um, metallic there on the circles and then I did these two with the Karen Dosh, I put some of my extreme glitter paint on the flowers here on this one. Did I do it here? Yes, on the leaves. On the, let's see, there you go. On the leaves here, I put these uh, extreme glitter hologram. I use Karen Dosh solely on both of these two. And um, this is another book that at some point I would like to finish all the pictures in it. Okay, let's move on. And if you've seen my separate video, you have uh, seen this, but I'm going to put it in my this video, Completed Pictures for the Month of um, <clears throat> September 2021, because there's 14 original pictures, and I colored all 14. And uh, I used watercolor, King Art gel sticks for skin um, some of them have I'm not going to point out each one but some have gouache and uh, my stencils and some paint acrylic paint and 
soft pastels. It's just a combination. And on this one, I have her eyes are three-dimensional. And that is with the glossy accents. It's a three-dimensional liquid that whatever you put it on, it'll give it three dimensions, like the stamen in this flower. And uh, on some of these, I used my liquid pearls. I'll list all this below. Okay, and I made his wing shiny with my extreme glitter paint. That's, uh, let's just go through them because I do have a separate video on them where I break it down more on what I actually used. And I did my backgrounds with my mixed media stencils. I didn't want to give them too much of a background, but just enough to add to the blank white paper. And here is the uh, liquid pearl on the flower centers. And they're three-dimensional and they glitter. They're beautiful. On her, too, is the liquid pearl, a different color. And I have the glossy accents on her eye. And the King Art gel sticks blended together. Three different colors gave me the skin tone, which I just think came out beautiful. This is all watercolor, except for the skins. This is gouache on the flowers and leaves and birds. And watercolor in other places. The same with this. And this is also gouache. And this one's King Art Gel Sticks for her skin and watercolor for her hair. Okay, and we have one more book. This one I completed in the month. This one took me several months, and I completed about the last five or six pages. This one I completed totally in the month of September 2021, this entire book, Benny Blue 2. And it is Amazon paper, and I did use watercolor predominantly through everything here. And I put completed there. So let's go through it. And it's crinkly, but my book will flatten out as it stays in my portfolio. And there's some metallic watercolor there. The only thing I used here that was not watercolor was Benny's fur. And I did it with Prismacolors because I liked the colors I could get. And it was easier than the watercolor. And then I used my Pilot G2 pen for his whiskers and hair that the artist has sticking up everywhere. But it's predominantly in this book watercolor. And some pages, as you can see, are not as wrinkled as others. Like this one was all watercolor except for Benny. But... The page just came out perfect because these are such small cats. Uh, I didn't have to put much water there. Okay. Let's just go through it real quick here and show you. And there's a little bit of gouache on his glasses to make the white glow. And my extreme glitter paint again. Metallic watercolor paint. I'm not sure what I use now. I think I put put the uh, folk art. Okay, and um, this one. I've got a little glittery. No, I don't have any glitter, but it's shiny. Okay, that's fine. It was the watercolor. There's his yoga pose. He's feeling better. He's all got to have a cast everywhere. He's been on the golf course. He has flying a kite and his string is all tangled. I did use my Pilot G2 pen on the string. But these are basically all watercolor. And this is Benny and his family. Benny's here, and the rest of the family are different colored rabbits. 
and you can hear it crinkle, but that's okay. I had so much fun and they came out looking great and I will keep watercoloring on Amazon paper. Okay, and here's a picture here. Let's see. I did use a little acrylic white paint around the heart. I made little appersands or whatever you want to call them around the heart just to accentuate it. And crinkly. And some of it went through, but that's okay. I used my Folk Art Extreme Glitter Hologram on the moon and some of this other color here. Strictly pencil, uh, not pencil, a uh, watercolor on this one, even detailed with watercolor. Okay, so there we have it for the month of September 2021. I hope you've enjoyed my flip through of all my completed pages. I will put as many of the supplies I use, I'll list them below, and the books. And um, if you have any comments or questions, please let me know by leaving a comment. Anytime you can give me a like, a share, or subscribe, I would appreciate it. It will help my channel grow. So until we meet again, happy coloring.